guys, we're Eric and Maria Haas. And this is our family, this is Sunny, Frankie, Georgie, and baby Cece. Come on in. Right off the front door, this is our living room, and uh, <laughs> this is a, a usual day for us. Most of the time, it's just the kids tearing it up as a, a usual day in the Haas household. Right off the living room, we go into our little office here. Got a coffee bar. Coffee's very important to us. Stay up and running all the time. Right off the office, coming a little full circle, this is the kitchen. Uh, we spent a lot of time in here, um, obviously four kids, cooking all the time, um, right off that dining room table. Dinner time is big. Um, we try to sit down and have dinner with the family as much as possible, so try to prioritize that, but um, once the season starts up, you know, kind of all hopes for that are out the window, so try to take advantage of it in the offseason when we can. Number 13, Eric Haas! Watching it fly away! The local kid does it again! We got really lucky. Um, I got traded back to Detroit, went to spring training. Two weeks, boom, COVID hit. They sent us back home. We needed a place to live. We were lucky enough, the, the previous homeowners let us FaceTime, kind of walk through the house a little bit. Um, yeah, but we just said, okay, this is, a, this is a good area. This is exactly what we're looking for. So we just went ahead, put an offer in, accepted. You know, now, then we had a house right, right before all that stuff took off. And now it's a place that we love to live and we call home. We end up spending a lot of time back here. The pup's hanging out. She likes to sleep on that couch. So that's her normal day. <laughs> We take it up through here. The garage is big for me. It's where I spend a lot of time. Maria will spend a decent amount of time in here too. Just another good spot if I'm in a crunch or you know something's going on with the kids. It's it's nice to be able to have a, a place where I can get a full good workout in and not to sacrifice anything. Making the garage, um, you know, kind of my little area to to get away and you know, keep some some of our stuff that keeps the, the house uncluttered is huge. Da -da. Da -da. And we go on right off of here, head down to the basement. Yeah. Really messed up, says Georgie. Um, this is about as clean as you're ever gonna see it. But um, just, just another you know space for the kids. Uh, we come down here, um, a big comfy couch again, that's kind of a necessity. We have uh, enough, enough spacing for all these humans to sit, but um, the kids tear it up down here. You know, this is it, their area with all their toys. We always have some kind of hockey nets or baseball tee set up. People ask all the time, you know, where do you put these different awards or anything or, you know, certain memorabilia that you have up and it's in storage because I don't want any kids breaking it right now. So um, one day, you know, we'll kind of knock the dust off that stuff. But today we're going to leave it in storage for a little bit. We went to high school together and we've been dating for, well, we were dating since we were 15, 16, um, got married when we were 19. Um, yeah, so being able to come back here and plant our roots a little bit and be by our family has been so much fun. And watching him play for Detroit has just been so crazy. We're very blessed to um, just live in, live in our hometown, but um, you know, I get to drive downtown and play for the Tigers every day, so uh, it's good. Dan Moses, owner of Ethos, Human Performance. Um, been here for roughly 12 years now. I ended up seeking this out on my own, but it, it kind of came full circle. You know, uh, Dan knows Mo, our nutritionist, a little bit. Uh, he works with some of the Lions guys, some of the Red Wings guys, um, and, and now some Tigers guys. So um, I know it's, it's a pretty cool little hub for a lot of Detroit, Detroit sports guys to come into. Eric is here this current off season, working on everything from becoming a better athlete, obviously being a better baseball player, um, Longevity of his career is a big issue, what we're trying to work towards. Through that process, we have uh, strength days, conditioning days, uh, along with speed and agility, uh, working on different things for his position specific exercises as well. Today um, is more of his, like I said, auxiliary things from rotator cuff exercises, scapular development, uh, range of motion, mobility. Uh, it is, still has a very heavy workload. Uh, there's a lot of things we try to get done in that two hour span. I'm working out with Dan every single day. Um, you know, and it's kind of my block, my time to, you know, get my own head and, and really hammer out stuff. The 
just finished up with Dan. Um, now we'll head right up to uh, play at the cage in Ypsilanti, do, hang out my baseball stuff. It used to be the Willow Run High School. So it, the high school shut down and it was like an apocalypse. Like it's literally like they went to school one day and didn't show up ever again. So there was like books in the desk and like lessons written on the board. And now it's just like completely revamped like baseball facility. Motor City Hit Dogs is the, is the program. Our goal is to get that kid that can go to the next level. They can come in there anytime. There's always a cage to use. If the infield's empty, use that. We got everything here, right? I mean, I get goosebumps like when I open the doors. I've, you know, I've been here six years. If I was a young kid and I had access to this place, I'd throw up a cot in the back, you know, and uh, just spend every waking hour here. Um, it's, it's ridiculous and it's so underutilized. Like, no one knows about it, you know? So it's kind of a really cool little gem. Like one thing I was like very fortunate enough to do with my agency and um, with the team, Hyper Ice um, makes very good soft tissue um, stuff, foam rollers, massage guns, things like that. So um, my wife and I were able to donate, you know, a couple of these stands and uh, just kind of help out some of the younger guys coming up through and um, just do what we can, try to give guys uh, every advantage to get better up here. So that's basically the entire cage. So I'll throw some weight of balls and then we'll hit and play catch. That'll be pretty much the whole day here. Hit a ball program right now is a lot more important than just my actual throwing. That's the bulk of what I'm doing right now. I warm up here and throwing all these weighted balls takes me about 45 minutes. Um, I'll do some other stuff out here, get ready to hit, hit for another 45 minutes, cool down, stretch out. It's Groundhog's Day, you just <laughs> along for the ride. My routine's probably been the same for how long, Woj? Long time. And it just allows me to have confidence going into the season that I've prepared to do everything I might be asked to do on the field. So it's great. Like he can still hit. I played four years in college and uh, came back here from Tennessee and you know had a dream of giving kids opportunity. Well, Connor's been there, done that at this level, and he knows everything from how hard we worked at the high school level. You know, we did the exact same tournament showcase and stuff growing up. Um, you know, thankfully for me, I was able to jump right into pro ball at a high school. He did the college route, and um, you know, he learned a lot of things that I, I never learned, obviously, going that route. So he brings a completely different dynamic to helping these kids and, um, you know, what those college coaches like at the next level, and now obviously he's scouting for the Phillies. So, um, he knows what talent looks like. Hey, just don't be throwing harder than me, all right? I don't want to look bad for this video. I'm just trying to get it there. The muscle memory, the movement of your body, like, that's how baseball is, you know? Like, being able to step right into that in the offseason, I think, really establishes that. That'll be good for today. Thanks, homie. Good job, bro. Hey guys, Eric and Maria Haas out here at the Red Wings, the whole family uh, getting the whole experience. Georgie, let's take your coat off. We gotta keep moving though. Hit the players club. Can you show her your wristbands, honey? Hey, you gotta go right now to ride this Zamboni though. Why don't you get one when you come back? You guys are good, you just walk through. I'm about to ride the Zamboni. Are you nervous? Yeah. Yeah, Have you been told what's gonna happen? Uh, yeah, I'm gonna ride on the Zamboni. You are, yeah, good cuz. You wanna get set up? Uh, yeah. It's about time, you ready to go? Yeah.
Detroit fans are so excited to have you on the other side of the street today. Yeah, thanks for having me. Excited to see some uh, some Wings hockey. Got the whole family out here tonight, so uh, I'm sure it's going to be a good game. You said your kids are pretty big Red Wings fans. They got to hang out in the Players Club today, and they're going to be riding the Zamboni and stuff. So a whole family affair, right? Oh, yeah. Yeah, my son is on the Zamboni here now, so uh, we're, we're excited to see that. But we got the whole family out here. fun to have you here in the building oh, tonight. Thanks for having me. Uh, I'm sure it's going to be a blast. Hey, was it bigger than you thought? This yeah, way bigger. Right? Yeah, it's so huge. Uh, the hockey players. Look at They're walking under the ice. Come on over here. You see them walking through? Frankie, can you see him? We're ahead to our seats right now. Hold on, bud. Excuse us. Thank you. Hi. How are you? Sure. Oh, nice. Guys, look at the video board. Look, look at it. We're on there. <laughs> They're about to start asking us questions, okay? You gonna talk? Well, John, thank you very much. We've got Eric Haas with us, and he's got three of his four kids with him, his wife and his fourth child are right down there. So, Eric, tell us who's with you here. Uh, I got Georgie here on my lap. I got my boy Sonny and my daughter Frankie. How are they enjoying the Red Wings game here tonight with you? They love it. And this right here, this hard rock's right up their alley, so they're having a blast. <laughs> you catch Frankie down there. But I see you went with the old retro with you. Do. You like it? Now? What do you like about these styles? It's just cool. Mix it up. Looks good on you. Looks good on the kids wearing the red and white. Enjoy that. Got your hands full, Eric, so we'll let you get back to it. But thanks for letting us be a part of the day in the life of Eric Haas. Sounds good. Thanks for having me, guys. Yeah.